Hi, this is Das Fox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. Yeah, Tarnum did bite, I mean, no, not Tarnum, Cuthbert did bite off more than he could chew at the end of last turn, trying to tackle those Afrit Sultans with what he's got. So I had him avoid them, come exploring down this way, and look what we spotted down here. There's a green key master's tent. And it's guarded by a quest guard. I'm not sure what the quest guard's going to want yet, though. Meanwhile, Tarnum's headed off this way. Yeah, and Sonya has spotted another seer's hut. We've got some interesting things to look for here. So it turns going to head up this direction and try to get access to this area by the back way. It was kind of hard to spot those skeletons against the background because it's so littered with bones already anyway. Yep, the purple player's gone, so it's just a matter of getting to everything else we need to get to before the our ally, the teal player, beats us to it. Cuthbert is kind of low on spell points, so it would do him good to visit this magic well. Yeah, he's been there. Let's see if he can manage this labyrinth. He is going to have to fight the guards. Fortunately, Nine Minotaurs is not anywhere near as difficult as, you know, like, 25 Afrit Sultans or whatever it was last, in the last episode. So I think we, yeah. I should probably pick up some reinforcements for Cuthbert, or maybe have somebody bring reinforcements down to him. Well, let's see, if I pick up Minotaurs... Well, I actually I don't have a slot to put Minotaurs in, unfortunately. Pack of Liches. Let's see if we can defeat the Liches without getting our heads handed to us again. Oh, Teal's already flagged that. See what the Sears Hut wants. Oh, that one wants the dead man's boot. And of course, Tarnum has those. He's wearing them. So, is there any way that it'd be too far for her to go around? So maybe she needs to actually conquer something. Skeletons, that pack of liches outside, a mausoleum. And we'll have Tyrus try to load up on troops here. Yes, we do have our Portal of Glory finally built. Champions. And now I want to have Tyrus bring these troops to wherever Cuthbert is. Maybe it would be easier to reach him through the underworld entrance down there, but 
papyrus is actually closer to that one there. So. Alright, and on to the next turn. Okay, and Tark is taking some more spell power. Okay, and I guess we'll try having Tartum take out the witches later on. Defeat those guards and then maybe recruit a few of the liches since he already has some liches in his army. Yes, he would like to recruit liches. And now, Sonya. And grab those dead man's boots from him and head back to the Seer's hut to find out what they're offering. Ooh, more gold. Gold helps. And now maybe Sonya can offer some assistance to Cuthbert, maybe? If she can get there. Okay, let's save the game before we tackle those witches down there. Just in case Cuthbert bites off more than he can chew. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's only 10 witches. And they're not even power witches. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay. I know magic arrow will work. Okay, yeah, we've got too many troop types here. Good deal. Machine factory. And let's find out what the quest card wants. Ah, he wants the endless purse of gold. And of course, Tarnum is the one who has the endless purse of gold. So we've got to get Tarnum down here, or at least get the Endless Purse of Gold down there. And in the meantime... Yeah, some extra wooden ore each day wouldn't hurt. some troops here. We don't really have to worry 
about garrisoning the towns anymore since there's no more purple player this hiring troops that our field forces can reinforce from. Night after night, the enemy taunts us, hiding in the shadows. They scream obscenities, throw firebrands at our tents, and make sounds like tortured cats. Let's see, having... survived my youngest going through band for several years, yeah. No, actually, she, she sounds pretty good by now. Lack of sleep has made the men sloppy, so the demons have been able to get close enough at times to actually cause injury. Tempers are flaring as well, and it's hard to maintain order. Six fights broke out yesterday, and the participants can't even remember what they were fighting about. I realize now this is exactly what Joram wants. If this keeps up, my troops will be useless by the time I catch up to them. Well, now. Basically, we're going to head everybody down to where Cuthbert is. Give some more troops to Tarnum. That'll work. And then maybe you can take the endless curse of gold, Sonia, and start running it down towards Cuthbert. Sonia, get banned this purse of gold from her, and run that down to Cuthbert. Tyrus now. And while all that's going on, I built a skeleton transformer today. hire some more troops here. Just to keep the dearest and dearest busy. basically playing relay race with the endless sack of gold here. Let's 
Spagna. But she can reach all the way down to Cuthbert. And maybe even give Cuthbert some reinforcements. I'm going to be swapping some corn demons for those guys. Tyrus, rather. You don't have that many troops left. Let's have you go get some reinforcements. Purse, you won't be seeing me again. So now we've flagged the green key master stand, and we can have Tarnum go through that unmarked gate, which is actually a green border gate. if Cuthbert is able to handle the Freed Sultans now. Amazingly enough, there are still a couple of unflagged mines here. Most of the troops you've ended up with, well, at least half, are undead. the second week of the second month now. We have just a little bit of time left. And we'll just hire a few things here. And now we'll have Tarnum head through the green border gate. Yeah. 
before we have him grab the spirit of oppression, I think we'll see if Cuthbert and Sonya can rack up any extra XPs from defeating the last couple of neutral stacks of creatures left in the map. At least this is a smaller bunch of free sultans than that one outside the hill fort. Okay, this is 41. I think the number of free sultans has actually grown since last time. Auto combat it is. And pray. Because Cuthbert had trouble with his punch before. This is basically the same battle we ended the last episode on, except. This time we've got Sonya attempting it instead of Cuthbert. I think Sonya's actually doing better. So she might possibly have a slightly stronger armor than Cuthbert did when he was trying. Okay, just one if we salt and left, and that's gone. Wow! And now she's made level 20. And we get our angels upgraded. Archangels. Well, can't quite reach that. I won't worry about Tyrus. Let's turn and head up to the Spirit of Oppression. It's the Spirit of Oppression you'll need in order to activate the gate. Now you can continue with your hunt of Jorum unblocked by his pestering forces. And we found the spirit of oppression and can claim victory. And that's the end of the scenario. So we're going to save that. And in the next episode, we will start the next scenario. So we will see you then.